Good morning, class. I am Teacher Jock, and I will be your science teacher. Hello, kids. Our lesson for today is all about uses of water from different sources. At the end of this video lesson, you are able to first identify the different sources of water. Second, you're going to explain the use of water from different sources in the context of daily activities. Water comes from different sources. They are classified as sea water fresh water, and underground water. In Tagalog, ang tubig ay nagmumula sa iba't ibang mga mapagkukunan. Inuuri sila bilang tubig dagat, tubig tabang, at tubig sa ilalim ng lupa. Fresh water is also called surface water. Unlike sea water, it does not contain salt. These are found in open small bodies of water like rivers, lakes, waterfalls, creeks, and ponds. In Tagalog, Ang tubig tabang ay tinatawag ding ibabaw na tubig. Hindi tulad ng tubig dagat, wala itong asin. Ang mga ito ay matatagpuan sa bukas na maliliit na mga tubig tulad ng mga ilog, lawa, talon at mga sapa. Fresh water also comes mostly from rain. Rainwater flows from land into rivers and streams. Nagmumula ito karamihan sa ulan. Ang tubig ulan ay dumadaloy mula sa lupa patungo sa mga ilog at sapa. Next, we have sea water. Sea water is also called hard water. It is found in seas and oceans. It is not suitable for drinking because it contains plenty of salt. Ang tubig sa dagat ay tinatawag ding matapang na tubig. Matatagpo nito sa mga dagat at karagatan. Hindi ito ang kop para sa pag-inom dahil naglalaman ito ng maraming asin. Next, let's have the last one, underground water. Underground water is found beneath the earth's surface. It comes from water, then seeps into the ground. Groundwater is considered as the safest water. Springs are openings of groundwater. In Tagalog, ang tubig na ito ay matatagpuan sa ilalim ng lupa. Galing ito sa tubig at humuhugot sa lupa. Ang tubig sa lupa ay itinuturing na pinakaligtas na tubig. Groundwater also considered as the safest water. Springs are openings of groundwater directly to the earth's surface. Now kids, let's have the different uses of water. Let's have fresh water. First, it is used for cleaning, washing, bathing, preparing food, and other household uses. You can also use fresh water in sustaining the life of the plant. Also, 
Farmers use fresh water for irrigation to support the lives of their crops and livestock. Fresh water in rivers, lakes, and springs is used for recreation like swimming and boating. Clean rivers and lakes serves as habitats for shrimps, crabs, shellfish, and different kinds of fishes. Rivers and lakes may also be used as routes of transportation for ferry boats. Waterfalls like the Maria Cristina Falls in Davao can be used as a source of hydroelectricity. Water is needed by our body to function well. These include digesting food, removing body waste, regulating body temperature, and helps in transporting nutrients and oxygen throughout the body. In Tagalog, mga gamit ng tubig tabang. Una, ginagamit ito para sa paglilinis, paghuhugas, pagligo, paghahanda ng pagkain, at iba pang gamit sa sambahayan. Pangalawa, ang tubig tabang ay nagpapanantili ng buhay ng halaman at hayop. Gumagamit ang mga magsasaka ng tubig tabang para sa patubig upang suportahan ang buhay nila mga pananim at hayop. Ang malinis na ilog at lawa ay nagsisilbing tirahan ng mga hipon, alimango, shellfish at iba't ibang mga isda. Ang mga ilog at lawa ay maaari ring magamit bilang mga ruta ng transportasyon para sa mga ferry boat. Ang mga talon, tulad ng Maria Cristina Falls na matatagpuan sa Davao, ay maaaring gamitin bilang isang mapagkukunan ng hydroelectricity. Let's have the uses of sea water. First, seas and oceans are used for recreation such as swimming, boating, and wind surfing. They are also used as routes for local and international transportation and marine navigation. In Tagalog, Ginagamit ang mga dagat at karagatan para sa libangan tulad ng paglangoy, pagbabangka, at wind surfing. Ginagamit din sila bilang mga ruta para sa lokal at internasyonal na transportasyon at pagnavigate sa dagat. Now kids! Let's try to answer the different question. Kindly get your science notebook and answer the following question. Directions Study each picture. Write S if the water source is sea water. Write F if fresh water. And G if ground water. For number one, deep well. For number two, rain water. For number three, lake. For number four, we have sea. And number five, Spring. Now, kids, let's check your work. Very good! You did a great job.
Remember kids, water is essential to living things. It also helps our body to work well. And we use water for our daily activities like cooking. It also helps animals and plants live in gardens and parks. Thank you, kids. I hope that you learned something today. See you on my next video lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and click the subscribe button. Bye-bye!